Okay, one of the questions we get a lot is, I have a problem, will the surgery make it better? And the answer is, some things we do make better. One thing that's very common, particularly in women who are heavy, is what's called polycystic ovary syndrome. And that's a situation where the ovaries are making way more estrogen than you should have. And you might wonder, well, if I'm a heavy person, heavy woman, why does the body make the extra estrogen? And the answer is the same reason that makes type 2 diabetes. The body has various signaling mechanisms. So the cells outside in the periphery can send a signal back to the brain, which can send a sig signal to the ovaries and say, I need more estrogen. There's a similar feedback loop for insulin and sugar in the body. So in diabetics, they're often heavy if they're a type 2 diabetic. They send a signal saying, I need more insulin because I'm resistant to the insulin because I'm heavy. And so the body makes more insulin. And one of the side effects is it drives more sugar into the cells, which gets shunted into making fat. So that makes those patients heavier, which makes them more insulin resistant. So their body sends a signal back to the pancreas saying, I need more insulin. And the body makes more insulin, which drives more sugar into the cells, which is a side effect, makes more fat, which makes them more insulin resistant, so they have to make more insulin. And it gets worse and worse and worse until the oral tablets stop working, and then they have to start on insulin, and that makes it even worse until their, their diabetes gets very difficult to control. In the same way, certain cells in the body need estrogen to live. And there's a mechanism built into our system that says, I'm a cell out here, particularly in the breasts and the uterus, but in other parts of the body as well, and says, I need estrogen to live. And I'm not getting enough because I'm relatively estrogen resistant because of my weight, so a signal gets sent to the pituitary in the brain. The signal is, I need more estrogen. The pituitary says, okay, I'm gonna make more luteinizing hormone, which goes out in the bloodstream, which goes to the ovaries, and it makes more estrogen. And as a side effect, of making more estrogen, there's a little bit of extra fat deposit because that's what happens when you have extra estrogen. That's what happens when you get pregnant. You put out more estrogen, you put down more fat in preparation for the pregnancy. So as a side effect of asking for more estrogen, you get more fat, which makes you relatively more estrogen resistant. So then the signal goes back to the brain and says, I need even more estrogen. So the pituitary says okay and sends out more luteinizing hormone to the ovaries and you make more estrogen. Now, higher and higher estrogen, you can get cysts, you can get uh, lumps or bumps, you can get pain in the pelvis from the ovaries, kind of the engine being driven fast. You can get irregular periods because the estrogen starts to mess up the cycle. And in fact, even though women don't have much in the way of synthetic pathways to make testosterone, they have some. So most of the time, men have the mechanism to make cholesterol molecules into testosterone, and women have the mechanism to make cholesterol molecules into estrogen. But there's a little testosterone equipment in women. And as this cycle of more and more and more and more estrogen goes on in a woman, the estrogen starts to spill over and start to drive some of that into testosterone. And then you get three things that you don't want. Hair, acne, and male pattern baldness as that gets worse because you're making testosterone and dihydrotestosterone and those things happen. That's the bad news. The good news is the surgery reverses that. Um, can I ask who's here with you today? Yeah, this is uh, Anthony. Hey. Well, Anthony, are you going to be around her yeah. after, after surgery? Yeah. Well, now you want to listen to this part closely. 
because we're going to reverse that big cycle I was talking about, estrogen, more estrogen, estrogen. We're going to reverse that suddenly. That's good. It means a decreased risk of breast cancer and endometrial cancer. It means that some of the male pattern, baldness, hair, and acne may be reversed. It means the menstrual cycle may be normalized. But a sudden change like that could make her a little grumpy, a little sad, a little angry. So if I told you I wanted her to quit smoking and she was smoking three packs of unfiltered camels a day. I wouldn't be in the room. <laughs> but let's just for I'm just theoretically. Yeah. And she quit, that would be great for her long term health, wouldn't it? But I wouldn't want to be near her when she quit. Okay, same thing with her estrogens about to happen. What do you really think? I'm saying keep your head down, don't kid around. This is not a time to be nice. If you're ever going to be polite and nice, now's the time. Because it can be rough because as that estrogen goes away, it's good for you. Good for your long-term health. It may be unpleasant to live through that though. How long will that last? Uh, only about oh. right. Only about one in four of our women actually get it. So not everyone gets it. Oh. It's only about twenty-five percent. But those who get it, it's life and death for you. Um, if it happens, it usually only lasts for a week to four weeks. But it has occasionally lasted a whole year. But most of the time, it's short, and there's a seventy-five percent chance it won't happen at all. But if it does happen, heads up. Are regular periods and absence of male hair any, indi any indication that maybe it won't be that drastic? Um, well, the acne is a good indication that there's some testosterone going on. It's just a, it just means that probably your body is making more testosterone than it needs. And that kind of causes a variety of things, but everybody's being is different. But it doesn't mean that dropping it that you're going to feel bad. It does mean that it's possible. And so you want to be careful about it. 